Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to work with identifying the fraction for non-shaded parts of a shape. So in previous lessons, we've worked on finding the fraction for shaded parts. Now we're going to talk about non-shaded parts as well. So our learning goal for today says, I can identify and represent shaded and non-shaded parts of one whole as fractions. So the materials that you need today are just a dry erase board. All right, so here we have a beaker with some water in it. What fraction of liquid do you see in the beaker? That's probably about one half, right? So here we have one half. What about the part that is not full? Could that be a fraction too? Hmm. Yeah, it's another half because half is full and the other half is empty. So two halves make a whole. All right, so look at the shape below and identify the fraction of the shape that is shaded and not shaded. So here, what part is shaded? Well, we know that our fractional unit is thirds because it's in three equal parts and two parts are shaded. So that's one third, two thirds. So we could write that in unit form or in numerical fraction form. Okay, what about not shaded? So here we have one part, which is one third. And we can write that as a fraction as well. Okay, so we're gonna look at this shape below again and find out the, side, the part that is shaded and non-shaded. So pause the video. I want you to write on your board. You can just write it in fraction form, the part that is shaded and non-shaded and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, our fraction part that is shaded, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths. So here we would write that down. The part that is not shaded is one eighth, two eighths and three eighths. So here's how you would write those in the different forms. All right, let's look at another one. So the same thing, we're gonna write what's shaded and not shaded. So pause the video, write the fraction form for not shaded and shaded, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so this is split up into three equal parts. So the fraction that is shaded is one third. The part that is not shaded is one third and two thirds. So that's how you would write it in the different forms. All right, let's look at another one. So same thing, write on your board the part that is shaded and not shaded in fraction form. So pause the video, solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so the fraction that is shaded, let's count a run. It's divided into six equal parts, so the fractional unit is sixths. So here we go. So one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, and four sixths. So we would write that, oh, those two different ways. Either way is correct. Okay, notice um, that the four on top in our fraction, our numerical fraction, is the number of parts that are shaded, and the bottom is the total number of equal parts. Okay, let's go over to our fraction that is not shaded. So let's count those parts. Remember again, it's in sixths. So one sixth and two sixths. So here's how you would write those in numerical form. Okay, in this example of our fraction form, Two represents the part that's not shaded, and six represents the total number of equal parts. All right, awesome. You guys did a great job identifying and representing shaded and non-shaded parts of one whole as fractions. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.